here's a thing that a Jeep thing that only Jeep people would understand. It only makes sense for a Jeep. All I did was jack this thing up in the front and put these ramps under it. That's all I did. But look what happened back here. The, the wheel climbed up my tire stop. I guess the sunlight is not cooperating right now. It's been in my eyes all morning. But now you can't see anything because there ain't any. But that wheel climbed right up my my chalk there. Add this to the list of reasons why I only buy made in USA cotton shirts. When you're underneath a vehicle, something hot falls on you. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. And had this shirt been a typical modern made in China polyester shirt, I would have been up in flames and really, really hurting. Right now I'm just a little bit hurting, but it would be a a really bad thing if this shirt had started on fire. I've got this Dymo Tape Writer 1350. Somebody gave me, oh, probably a decade ago or so. Because it didn't work, what it wouldn't do is it, it wouldn't advance the tape. Uh, so he gave me this and, and some accessories and things. This roller here did not have any rubber on it. There was evidence that there used to be a rubber tire on there at one time and it had worn away. And that's what the problem was here. It was slipping on the tape and it wasn't advancing the tape. And I tried to disassemble, well, I started to disassemble this thing, and I got part way into it and decided that everything's going to come apart, and I'm not going to want to put it back together because it's a disaster the way this thing is assembled. It's probably fine when you put it together the first time, but to take it apart and put it back together again at this point is not something I really intended to do. So what I did, and it's really ugly, let me zoom in here. Okay, I can't zoom in. Camera is not cooperating at all. Anyway, all I did was I took a pencil tip and I dabbed some plastic dip on here and, and turned it and kept kept dabbing it on there. And it's a little ugly right now. It's kind of worn away because I had some other issues with the tape getting jammed down here. And so the wheel was, uh, the rubber was getting torn off the wheel. The problem down here is that modern cartridges uh, don't have the tabs on the side to fit in this mechanism down here. What happens is when you pull the trigger, it's supposed to push the cartridge back to ease the tension on the tape, and then the tape advances and then the cartridge goes back the other way. Well, this cartridge doesn't lock in there this way. The new ones just don't. And I've got, even got some old ones that are probably 30 years old now that uh, they don't lock in either, so I don't know when they change that. Or maybe there's a, maybe there's something else, like a carrier you're supposed to put this in before you snap it in there. I don't know. In any case, it does work now. Uh, the only issue I'd say I have with it now is that the font is so large that the tapes are are monstrous. Uh, you know, I've got other other things like this, like this one. Uh, this is a not, not a very fun one to use. I probably bought this 20 years ago. Uh, this one's got a much smaller font. The font is approximately the size of the letters on the, or numbers and on the, on the dial here. So you can imagine you get more words per inch on your tape. I've also got this one. I've had this thing for I don't know, 35 years or more. I bought this brand new at uh, Drug Emporium. <laughs> Drug
drug and program has been out of business for for decades. Um, this one is, was stored in a box for a long time, and the the uh, font disc here is missing some teeth, so so it's pretty useless now unless I find another one of these font discs or just buy a whole new one and and rob the disc out of it. Um, you can find these things used on eBay. That one is the nicest one to use, but this one works pretty well too when it's working. Uh, like I say, the only issue with it is the, the font size. Also, there's a, a manual advance here that you can use to advance the tape, and that is stripped out. I don't really care about that. I, I can advance it with the, uh, with the trigger like normal. I do have some other font wheels for this thing. And you would think by looking at this that that's a smaller font, but it doesn't really work that way. This is a vertical font, which is handy to have. I don't uh, I don't normally make vertical tapes though. So, and I've got this one here. I really, I guess I never really uh, investigated what the difference between the two of them was here. Maybe maybe there isn't even a difference. I don't know. Something I probably should have been doing here during the quarantine while I had the opportunity was re-roofing this building. Uh, the shingles are in really bad shape. And every year I've got to go up on the roof and put a whole bucket of roof sealer around where this pipe goes out the roof. It's not necessarily leaking around the pipe, but the roofing around it is pretty well torn. I guess... It's going to be impossible to see it here on the camera, but I can hear it. It's dripping onto the, the ceiling in here right now. It's raining pretty good. It's not yet dripping in the usual place here. But either way, that's, a, that's kind of a big problem. Unfortunately, you know, by the time I realized I was going to have enough time to do that, we started having real rainy weather here, and there really wasn't a good opportunity anymore. I don't have anywhere to store the roofing materials I would need. I have to replace all the decking and all the shingles. So I'd have to store all that place until I can do the job, and I I really can't plan on doing that at this time of year. You can hear that. You can hear it hitting the top of that plywood there right now.